Hey you, Captain! Did you quit Hong Kong Patriot in version 7.3 and was thinking of returning to the game? Well, now is the best time to play Honkai Impact again. Version 7.8 is coming soon on October 17 and this is a great patch to return for a number of reasons. The first reason is 7.8 is a major patch. That means we get a lot of free pulls. You get 26 supply cards, 2 fast supply 10 pull cards, and Vita supply first 10 pulls are free. And yes, the fast cards, they do count for spend event. Also, if you are a captain with more than 2400 login days, you get another 20 cards. You also get a free Valkyrie option between Silvery Next and Miracle Magical Girl. So you can get a free Salima outfit from spending event by reaching 30,000 crystal milestone. And this outfit looks gorgeous. You can also get a free Hershey of Finality by reaching 41,800 Crystal Milestone. If you already have her, you can get her rank up stamps instead. Reason number 2 to return to the game right now is because there is a lot of gameplay improvements. There's light for almost everything now. Sim battle? Light it. Listen realm? Just light it. The story is also starting to get interesting again. Chapters are much shorter now compared to chapter 1 to 3. The length right now is just right. Chapter 5 will also reward a free weapon selector for Coralie or Helia. Reason number 3 to return is to prepare for the story collab coming in 7.9. So version 7.9 will be a story collab featuring Sparkle Battlesuit. If you return now in 7.8, you can save enough crystals to guarantee Sparkle and her gears. Bonus point, if you are a story law player, you should play Hong Kong Pei now to learn how the two games are being connected. And of course, finally, the reason you should return in 7.8 is the new Valkyrie Vita and her shoot of finality's new divine key. Vita's battlesuit, Lone Planet Fairer, is a powerful mech lightning DPS with a slick looking mecha. Vita is also a great support for three Astro Ring types, World Star, Wheel of Destiny, and a future Astro Ring. And because she is a Rite of Oblivion character, she can still be a decent support for other future Astro Rings, providing powerful buffs like Elemental Breach and Physical Breach. More details on her support performance in Vita Guide video. And if you still don't get how Astering team building works, don't worry, I'll make a video on that in the future. And Hersha finally gets a new Divine Key, Waxing Moon, and new Stigma Iskandar. With Waxing Moon, Hersha finality can activate Astering Rite of Oblivion. During Stellar Outburst, she gains new weapon skills and combo attack will freeze time. And of course, she gets a new ultimate, Go Kiana! The new gears are not just for Kiana. The new gears also turn Kiana into a support for Vita and Hershey of Origin. I mean, look at this. When have you seen Hershey of Origin Ultimate do this much damage? That is it for this video. I hope this convinces you to give the game one more chance. This is your most reliable guide maker, Marisa Honkai. I will see you captains later.